up guys welcome back Cody's Auto Diagnostics so I want to do I got a uh, 2008 Toyota Tacoma here uh, it's got a dead cylinder so I wanted to show you guys just a quick and easy um, I've already verified what it needs and everything but I wanted to show you a relative compression test uh, going right to the data link connector inside the vehicle this is good just for a quick reference um, not something I use if I want to add a second channel but it is nice for like I said just a quick and easy setup so uh, I'll bring you guys show you on to the scan tool here but I have the scope hooked up or actually let me start off by I have the data link connector the breakout box on pin 4 which is chassis ground and battery positive okay hooked into the scope on the snap-on scope, I hook it up and I put on peak detect, AC coupling, uh, 2 volt scale, and 20 milliseconds. So that being said, I remove the EFI fuse so the vehicle will not start. So let's do this test real quick. You can hear the crankings. stop it one thing with snap on you want to you have to capture the data and then zoom out so I am zooming out and right here get this out of the way Okay, now I don't like the way this looks, preferably. So how I have it set up, I showed you guys the setup. Um, now the low compression bean voltage, this is where you know guys can get messed up and stuff. But normally it, I like using the amp clamp. Um, I like seeing the, the compression be in the peaks and not the valleys so using voltage it's going to be reversed than using an amp clamp so using an amp clamp as the current gets higher those are the the peaks those are the compression strokes um, now using voltage as so voltage is reversed as current goes high voltage goes low so the weak cylinder is is actually the valleys on using voltage so it's just it's not my preferred method what I typically like to do um, if your scope is able to do it is to go back into the scope and invert so inverting the waveform is just gonna flip it around it makes it makes it easier for me to understand I just prefer it that way so let's do the same test again stop it zoom out and you can see that the waveform is flipped okay so you can see here we have a peak of one peak two peaks three peaks and then we have a valley a missing a missing peak so this is a four cylinder engine it's a 27 Toyota um, so this has, I mean, being two minute test, you know, verified that there is a cylinder that we need to investigate further. Um, we don't know what cylinder, obviously not having a trigger or any of that. That's where a second channel would come in handy, but being right at the DLC, this is, this is nice just for a quick and easy setup. Um, and you know, one way of doing it on, on the snap on. And like I said, I always like, in, if I'm using voltage, I like inverting my waveform. Just a little bit easier for me to understand, you know, as high compression, higher peaks. Um, voltage, flip that around. So the, the compression will be the valleys. So that, that's how I set it up. Every scope is going to be different. Um, but I use a 2-volt scale. On, on the snap-on, I use a 2-volt scale, um, AC coupled, and inverted. So, 
And just remember, with the snap-on scopes, you're not going to see being live. You're not going to you're not going to see what you want to see on the RC test. That's where you need to stop it, zoom out, and then take the capture, and and you can you can see the you can see the compression and stuff like that, or the RC um, like that. Pico's obviously different. Um, every scope's going to be different. So RC tests are are super easy. They're you know using voltage. You can use current. There, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is, that's, that's it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time. Cody's Auto Diagnostics.